man. I'm gonna take a small walk down memory lane. Mm-hmm. And he and you spoke to Ellie against Biden, man, and, and, and he definitely need to revisit that yeah. expeditiously. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna take a short uh down memory lane. April the fifteenth was the day they came around up everybody. Yeah. When they came and got you, what was going through your mind that moment? Man. <laughs> Oh man, what the fuck am I gonna do? <laughs> yeah, I, I tried to get away, you know what I'm saying? Right, um, right. I knew something was wrong that morning. Mm-hmm. I knew when they called me from the front desk mm-hmm. with with the you know trying to lure me downstairs. Mm-hmm. I didn't know what was going to unfold right. as what wound up happening, but man, uh, I knew it was something bad. And uh, man, I was I was trying to get away, man. Right. You know, couldn't get away though. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. And then when you go in that bullpen. And you seeing 20, 25 of dudes. Right. It, it hit you and like hit this. Me. Yeah, this, we, it's, it's real. Oh, yeah, this is real. <laughs> I had no idea. Everybody, right. I see all, right. I saw all of y'all and everybody. I was like, oh, right. man. Yeah, this shit bad, man. And then, you know, as it started unfolding, we see the politicians speaking the shit, the mm-hmm. police chief, the mayor, you know, and all this shit. And, and the vicious ass prosecutor, I knew. I mm-hmm. said, yeah, they're going to make an example out of us. Well, yeah. And I, yeah, I, I remember, man, just coming. We was, we was coming from the bullpen to go to court the first day, and I guess they used my face as the the commercial that they made a big arrest. Right. Me walking into the joint, yeah. And the dude was like, "Man, you a movie star?" I was like, "Huh?" He said, "You a movie star, right?" <laughs> then we walk in that the first day we went in the courtroom. It was you remember it says jam packed. Yeah, people all man, over the place. Family, you couldn't yeah. even find your family member, yeah, right? Yeah, man. And I remember looking at, looking for my man, saying to yeah. my man, like I give him the Lord now, nah, like I'm all right. right. They, they give me a look like, nah, you ain't all right. You ain't all right. <laughs> you ain't all right, right? You just seen a Michael Collins was really it was what really about to happen, right? Y'all, man, yeah, man. And if I'm not mistaken, you never had no prior charge. You never yeah. locked up nothing before then. Yeah, no, first jump. First know. time going in the courtroom, you walk out the jump with life. Life, yeah, yeah, life without parole. That's and the whole the time the process of going before you got the life, they took you out of DC jail, took you to the Marine Birds, yeah, Quantico. Yeah. You get on the, was, when you down there, what you thinking down there? Yeah, man? man. I was like, these motherfuckers get ready to kill me. What the fuck is going You know what I'm saying? Right. I remember that when they came that Sunday morning, I know this shit could never have been done. You know, right. they remove you from the jail. Right. They wouldn't tell us where we was going. What the, right. And I knew it was something bad. Sunday morning, y'all, and it's the marshal. It ain't regular police. Right. It ain't the regular guard. Right. Right. And, um, and then just me and him, right? Out everybody at first, just me and right, him yeah, taking yeah, us. And yeah. then as we got to riding and going, going, uh, going out to uh, Virginia, right. that's when one of the marshals who kind of had a little rapport, like right. man, uh, man, well, I don't know what y'all did of that jail, but y'all would never see that jail again. Right, like, yeah. Fuck you, mean we'll never see the jail again. We ain't even went to trial. We ain't convicted. Where we going? Right. And I seen when it, you know you come up to the post with mm-hmm. the army, you see the army fatigue and the right. gun. What the fuck? So what we get, get court martial? Right, right, yeah, right, right. man, it was. It was crazy. Oh man, they took us through shit that nobody else ever experienced, and uh, right. yeah, they so, really. So you was like yeah. me in the courtroom with Judge Rich and all them gut and the They like section thirty three dash set of yeah. such and so all these motherfucking codes. Yeah, all it's like man, what the fuck are these people talking young about? Motherfucker, we don't know, know what the nigga, fuck right? going on. We don't know what's getting ready to happen to us, man. We know it's bad, but we don't know what's getting ready to happen, right, man. You know. Right. And did you get this, man? And I get it. And I said, and you, and you probably when you get out long enough. They always say, man, why y'all ain't buying up A Street? Why y'all ain't buying? I was like, man, we were kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think you might be 25. Yeah. I'm 20. Six, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Well, people looked at us as older because we, how we moved, how we how moved and what we had. But again, I, a, a female was just telling me that I looked up to you. I thought you knew everything. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. She was a little younger than right, me, but right. people actually did right. thought that we knew. And we was, man, I mean, we knew the streets, right. we knew the block, we knew right. how to. But that what we really needed, we was just too young to, to right. know it at that time. Too young you know what I'm saying? Time, right. Yeah. yeah. Right, right, man. And it's like, and that's why it's good that now you 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 even did your whole time mentoring in. They was like you had programs yeah. in. Yeah. Um your, uh obviously you'll see from Tony. Yeah. Lord Tony, you know what I'm saying? He carried on the legacy. You yeah, know what no saying? question. In the man. proper light. And um so man, some good things came out of that. You know what right. I'm saying? Uh uh and, and like I say, man, in in and I don't want to speak for you, but but I I know you, you know what I'm saying? And I done heard you talk since you've been home. And it's like, man, I, I it's pain when I see you talk. Not pain as far as hurting me. Right. It's just because it's like I know you you at that stage where people still got their perspective on you, but right. they don't really, really know you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And they just judging us all with the case and all that, right? Mm-hmm. But I mean, I'm I'm going back to the beginning, man. I'm just happy you out here. Yeah. You know I what I'm saying? That happy so much, to man. See y'all here that they can get to learn you, they can see. 
how Shorty got his characteristic, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. They can see, you know, the live effects on the scene and like that, right? But man, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump back in the case. I'm I'm remembering because it's personal. This is a personal interview. Yeah, you know what I'm no saying? Question. It ain't like the normal right, the right. right. When your son was right there, I was in a different state of mind. It was more like a, a teary joint in the inside. You right. know what I'm saying? Cause the pain is his voice like I gotta get him home. Yeah. And he said something in the interview, and I might do a highlight reel on this joint. He was like, Man, yeah, man, come on, well, you know, he raised me. And I was like, done back up right there. I say, that's strong, because a lot of dudes that father incarcerated didn't say their father raised them while they were still in. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's, so the that's fact, hard. That's it's a hard job yeah, to do. And you gotta have to both parties gotta be certain. Be, exactly. Certain you can think you're doing it, yeah, right. but the child ain't receptive to that right. shit. He he right. thinking of what he's doing with however, right. or whatever, man. Right. And I credit for my, my son for mm. uh helping me to make it more easier for me right. because of the young man that he right. was and mm. at the time and right. growing, you know, that made it easier, man, when you have a, a, a child that wants to do right, that's receptive to right. uh positiveness and um just want to be on the right track mm -hmm. and is on the right track. Mm -hmm. So that makes a dad work much easier, especially mm -hmm. from, from inside, man, mm -hmm. which is almost impossible, but you know, mm -hmm. to really pull it off. But mm -hmm. yeah, man. They give you life, man. They say you out to your first destination was Long Park. Long Park. California. That's yeah. on an airplane. That's six, seven hours. If you drive, it's a day and a half, two it's, days. Yeah. There's actually two planes because you, you, you land in LAX and then you got to take a smaller plane to get to, Long Park, and yeah, my mm -hmm. son had to do that several times when he, even as a teenager, you know, trying to get the dad and trying right. to, you know, right. So you never did me, you, right? You never did no juvenile time. You never did no adult time. You come yeah. from the streets, eating at Houston's, mocking and going through the fights on a federal penitentiary compound. What's going through your mind, man? Man, I'm like, it's a, it's another world, man, a whole another world, and you got to adapt. Mm -hmm. You got to adapt or, or crumble. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And uh, our one's gonna crumble. Mm -hmm. So, you know, mm -hmm. you gotta adapt. You gotta put a lot of your ways to the side and um this prison down and mm -hmm. uh that yeah, you gotta you gotta roll with it, man, mm -hmm. in order to, you know, survive and someday, you know, get a blessing which which, which came, mm -hmm. you know, even though it took a long, long, long time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's what you're saying. Is is a yeah, mm -hmm. that shit it, it it was a big change. Yeah. Huge. How many yeah. how many how many years you doing long part before you was transferred? Uh, 12. 12 years. 12 years, yeah. yeah. Different little things. I know a lot of stuff on the compound, a little different beef from <laughs> DC. They, you know, they're going to yeah. stay in something. You got the gang yeah. stuff out there. Yeah. And how was you able to navigate all that situation? Yeah, just basically being me and right. being the same way I was in the world. Right. On, right. on that level. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had to change a lot of things, right. like we was just saying, mm -hmm. but just, um, you know, same way on the street, fuck with a few good men. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Um, you know, cordial to everybody, mm -hmm. but, you know, you don't fuck with everybody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And uh, not having no habits, that was one good thing because right. most of the dudes with all the trouble come, you know, from being in prison. Right. Dudes with the drug habits. Right. Dudes with the with the homo habits. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that, that shit brings, it always brings, uh, right. fuck the, you know, drama. Mm -hmm. So, you know, those <clears throat> things help me out uh, in some ways to navigate uh through this long period of incarceration, especially in the in the pens, right. and you know we, you know we, you know how homies are, right. you know, yeah. good, you know we got good men, and yeah. uh, you know oh, they had a lot of Lawton, <laughs> you know they pulled yeah. that little, right. yeah, right. shit was right. Right. them motherfuckers, was, they was so bad. Yeah, triple O seven. They, <laughs> they told them motherfuckers, they called back to Lawton and say, man, get, we don't want these motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck how much y'all offer us. Take these right. motherfuckers back. Right, they right. they wreck so much having in Long Park, man. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. And yeah. it's so funny because man, all my guys that was in Lawton, my personal friend, uh -huh. we always joke and talk shit. I kept on saying, man, I'm a 016 dude. I say, man, y'all old devil, old chick, old yeah, seven. Y'all yeah, yeah. fuck the compounds. I'm a <laughs> I'm 06 dude. Maybe you know I'm saying yeah. we are gonna go hard with the time. Go hard. We try to get right. some money, right? Yeah. And they just talk more. They say, nigga, we Lord nigga. You know, it's be yeah. friendly fire, friendly right? Friendly fire, no but it question. But it be like, man. yeah, man. But Lord one, legends, yeah, yeah, Lord and, legends, and, and, man. And one thing that I really, really, again, like how you walked your walk because you said something about ten minutes ago about you just was being who you are, yeah. right? And the work I do for us, mentor on young youth. They all, I always say, man, you got to, once you walk who you are and you be consistent in that walk, exactly. the public going to see who you is. You know what I'm saying? A lot of time that peer pressure and all that. And man, Slim, you walk that walk in the streets, in jail, to the day. Like exactly. like I say, the story, I don't want to, I'm not going to do a whole lot of the 
Ray for Edmund Case and all that, but I just in the handle. But I'm saying you you left handle when you came on that side of town. You walked in a territory where those that wasn't your homies, that wasn't right. your neighborhood, right. that wasn't nothing. You ain't you ain't been your collar. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You went in the federal penitentiary, and you still walked your walk. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, man, that's to be committed. I wish there's somebody where you can bottle it up and teach that mm. <laughs> to some people, man, because that's what the youngest really need that mimic that say, yeah. if don't be afraid to be who you are. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That peer pressure. That is, peer pressure. That's one of the main factors, man. That that get a lot of the young people mess mess their life up, man. Right. Trying to be all right, trying to satisfy their men to, you know, really actually doing some things that they really don't want to do, man, right, you know, or right. be some type of way that they really don't want to be. Instead of just being them, man, you know, if niggas like it, they just good. If they don't like it, fuck them, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, yeah, right. Man. What you contribute that to? How, how did you have that self-presence to be confident who you is from a kid all the way up to the penitentiary? How did you keep that? I just, uh, I always took the stance of, of, being a leader, that's that's the stance I took, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? But right. not trying to be domineering or trying to tell people what to do. Cause right. if 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 you got some attributes as far as being a leader, people gonna follow you anyway. Right. You ain't got the, you know, you ain't got the force right. enough and you ain't got the, you know, but that's that's just what I kind of like right. always had in me from looking right. up to certain dudes also, like I was right. saying, Cornell Jones and you know, Big Boo Hinton, Gregory Hinton, mm -hmm. you know, men like that. Right. You know. Back in the day, when I used to be, I used to be on the streets, going uptown, different strips, man. I used to be amazed at the items that you can buy off the block. <laughs> what's 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 the special thing you bought off the block that somebody brought to you to sell you on the block? What's the most that you remember of the the most designer clothes? What, what what you bought that stand out of your head? Yeah, it was a lot of things, man, but mostly the jewelry. The jewelry, yeah. Muffins might come with a bag of Rolexes. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying, yeah, bag of them yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right. Know? Sometimes they come with the loose diamonds. That's yeah, yeah. how good. They're the diamonds in the hand, yeah, like the diamonds in the hand, big. You know, three and four current joints, right. man, and uh, yeah, shit like that. Right. I don't know if the boost is still. I don't. I right. ain't been here, but back then, right. they yeah, was, back then man, they bring everything, they was professional, man. bad, yeah, they bring everything. everything, man, yeah. highest quality, right. and not just one or two of shit. They was I don't know how they was getting that shit right. from, yeah. from out them stores. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, and the jewelry was like the most expensive shit that I mostly remember coming through on the blocks. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and uh, and it's crazy because, like I say, I'm a I'm from Northeast, but I hung up town a lot. Right. And, and so me going up there and seeing how they moving, and I was coming my side, and they come over there and sell shit. They sell it for half. I say, nah, man, it's a third <laughs> on the street, man. Yeah. <laughs> they say, nigga, you, you looking at what they doing they, on they the other side? side. I said, man, around, third, yeah. third on the street. They say, man, this ain't, no, this ain't uptown, <laughs> yes, man. This, 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 this no Northeast, man. This is Northeast, <laughs> yeah. man. Well, they, man. I feel you on that. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, man. Give me, give me. Out the park, niggas know me. Curb on, little homie. All days, all days. Thank you for watching Changing Jewels on Kirkbone TV. If you like the jewels that we are dropping, subscribe, hit the notification, and share with some friends. And I'll see you on the next episode of Changing Jewels, Kirkbone TV.